In this video of creating checklister, we will work on two new features. It's the list of my day important and planned. So in previous videos, we've made the actual working, adding to my day, adding to start, important or date, but we didn't create the lists themselves. So now if we click my day, we have no tasks found and important shows number three with the list of tasks, which works in a similar fashion like any checklist list, but just with some extra data at the bottom. So this will be one feature of this video. And also we will work on adding the note, which is really simple actually, as it turns out, when you click a note, you add some note here that disappears, it is saved. And also you can edit the note later. So two things for this video. First, the list of the tasks. And as it became kind of a tradition, I will show the changes in my GitHub desktop and you can check that out in the repository as well. The link will be in the description below. So I will show it here. I zoomed it a bit more, which means that the text won't fit on the screen. It will jump to second row, but still it should be more visible to you because without zoom, it's a really small font. So in routes web, I added another list, another route. So there was a checklist by ID. But for these checklists, we don't have any checklist ID, it's just compiled list by user. So I've created a separate route task list list type, and list type may be my day, planned, or important. So these are the URLs. You can click my day and it's task list my day, task list important, and task list planned. In that checklist controller task list function, it's just viewing the task list and passing the list type because all the logic will be in the live wire component. In that task list view blade file, we're just loading the checklist show and we're reusing the same checklist show live wire component, but it may have two parameters. Well, one out of two parameters, either checklist ID, checklist object or list type. And based on that, we'll have some if statements what to load. Next, I've also added those link to the sidebar. So instead of just no link for each of the tasks menu now has user task list key. And this is where we get to live wire component, which was changed quite a lot. So in addition to having a checklist, now we have list type, one of those three. Now we have list name, which is compiled either from checklist name or from one of those three. And then instead of doing the task filter by checklist, now we need to have list tasks. So all the tasks of that particular list and user tasks separately where they completed or cloned or something. And then I move the logic from mount to render. So in render, we populate everything that we need. So each time it re-renders the component and checks the database if there was a user task finished or something. And in render, we check. So if we have no list type, which means checklist as it was previously, we populate the things pretty similarly as we did before. I just moved it away from the blade of Livewire into this. So it would have the same structure, whether it's checklist or user list, it has the same list tasks, user tasks, completed tasks, and list name. But if we do have list type, list name is one of those three. So I have switch case statement and user tasks is filtered a bit differently, but from the database where not null added to my day add, where is important or where not null due date and ordered by due date. So one of three options. And then list tasks, which are basically admin versions of the tasks, parent tasks. We just query them from the same user task where task ID equals the ID from user task. I know it's pretty complex, but this is my version of doing that. Maybe you would do it differently. And maybe thinking back, it would have made sense to change the structure to have user tasks as a separate database table and not in the same tasks table. But I've kind of made a bet on that version and now it's kind of too late to change. So we will continue with that. It's kind of working okay. I guess a bit complex to understand, but it works. So we have list tasks, which is admin tasks, and then completed task is also another filter. And then in the blade of checklist show, we change the checklist name to list name, which we populate in the live wire component. And then if we have the list tasks, then we do for each and here see the change. I'm not filtering anymore in the blade. I'm not filtering here. The filter comes from live wire component. And then if we have one of those list types, then we need to show some additional values underneath. So these two, where that task comes from, from which checklist. And if there is a due date, we show that as well. So this is the block for that. 
and then also a few changes related to not filtering checklist again but filtering user tasks and then if there's no task then no tasks found and everything else all the other behavior of live wire component remains the same so i'm reusing the same component and if i open here the sidebar opens and i can add to my day here for example or remove from my day so it's just reusing the same checklist task list but with a few different parameters and a few different behaviors based on those parameters now the node task is even easier it's really similar what we've done with adding due date here so adding or removing a due date also same here we click a node then we expand the form and then when we click here we save the node and we reload it's kind of live wire is reloading automatically the saved data how it works first migration for the field text node which is by default nullable then adding that to the fillable of the eloquent model and then in the show blade there's some formatting done automatically by php storm so that is irrelevant and then related to node we have everything here so instead of just meaningless and not working link we have if we have a node set then we toggle node toggle node basically opens or hides the form if the node is not opened then we show the node with a link to edit that and if the node is opened then we show that text area with a button and that button wire click points to save node method of live wire component and in that live wire component we have two more variables node opened which means node form opened or not by default false and note is the value of that text area which is wire modeled so if we go back to the blade wire model node is the same value as node variable here in the live wire component and then toggle node just opens or hides the form and then we need to assign the node variable to the current task which is opened and then save node is just updates to the database nothing really fancy and then node open false means that we're closing the form so the behavior is that we add something we save the node it is saved in the database and then this not opened becomes false which means that we are processing this part this becomes true this becomes also true so we're showing this and then toggle node reopens the form again so we could edit that something like that save note so these are two features we've built today in fact i've built them behind the scenes so i wanted to shorten this video and shorten the course so you wouldn't see me live coding instead i'm just showing the result the main things with comments and if you want to check out the commit it's already in the repository on github the link is in the description below and in the next video i'm planning to tackle the reminders the email reminders of the tasks planned by user